Hey what's going on guys Ravi here from Ira FX along with Mr Zebo welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial So in this video we're going to be learning to add this old film look to our videos in a very easy way So without any delay let's get started All right so I have a video in my project let me drag this video to the right side panel here so that a sequence is created let me show you what this video has got there are few kids walking along and we'll be adding an old film effect to this so the first thing that I'll do is I'll go to the color tab I'll click on this color so that I can get access to lumetri color panel and then I'll go to the creative tab of this the metric color panel and I'll then increase the faded film value to around 75 so that the white color that you see in the video appears a bit grayish and I'll leave the sharpen value to 0 or I'll just reduce it a bit and I'll decrease the vibrance value just like this so that it looks something like this and I'll also decrease the saturation value just a bit so that the colors do not pop just like the way they used to earlier and I'll then go to the colors color wheels and uh, match panel and in the highlights I'll just click somewhere around here so that you get a you know a orange tint to our video I'll just decrease the highlights property here so that it's not much bright this looks fine it gives a old retro look to our video the next thing that we'll have to do is is to add some noise to our video so i'll go to the effects panel and type in noise so i have this noise effect in the noise and grain folder and just drag this onto your video like this you can go to the noise effect here and change the amount of noise to around 15 so this will add some noise to our video if you if you feel 15 is too much you can just tweak this value to around 10 okay so this looks fine to me and i'll then go to the effects panel and type in channel blur so you have this channel blur effect and drag this on to your video so you can use one specific color in this case i would like to use the red color to generate some blurry effect so i'll change the red blurriness value to around 20 so now you can see that there is this color leak happening because of the red color that you have So I'll just change the blur dimension from horizontal and vertical to just horizontal. If I zoom in, you can see that there is this color leak happening to our video, and it gives us an old retro style effect. So we'll have to add some scratches onto our video so that we get an old film effect, as if it was shot in a camera that uses film. So I'll go to the editing tab and I'll create a new item called black video. Okay. So I'll hit okay and I'll drag this black video onto the top of my video and increase it to the duration of my entire sequence and then go to the effects panel and type in fractal noise. So you have this VR fractal noise effect and just drag this onto your black video like this. Once this is done, we can simulate a scratch effect here. So I'll just change the fractal type to strings and I'll then increase the contrast value up to 400. That's the maximum possible. And I'll then decrease the brightness value to negative 100. click on this timer button here for random seed make sure at the first frame and move to the last frame 
and change the random seed value to 30 so that all these scratches are animated if you play this you can see that the scratches are animated like this so I'll change the blending mode from normal to screen so now if I start playing the video you can see that we have a uh, you know different scratches appearing on our on the top of our video and if you feel the scratches are a bit too much just go to the fractal noise effect and reduce the opacity from 100 to 50 so this is how you have an old film effect now so the last thing that I'll do is I'll add an overlay I have this black bars that appear to the left and right of our videos usually videos in the 70s or 80s are usually shot 1 is to 1 square aspect ratio so in this case I'll add this overlay you can just create it using a black video and masking it as a square or you can just download this overlay from the link in the description below I'll attach it there so if I start playing the video this is how it's gonna look like So this is how you add some old film effect to your videos. I hope you like this video and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on Instagram at VFXGuyRavi. Mr. Zebo, would you like to add something? Subscribe for more tutorials. Alright so see you guys next time with another tutorial.